In this lesson, we will take a look at how to register collisions and trigger events. Create physics tags in order to recognize objects our ball collides with. First, let's take care of the assignment. In the previous lesson, I have asked you to create two variables to track score. As I imagine, score should be a whole number, so for storing it, I will use integer variables, one for each player. So I type int player1 score equals zero and int player2 score equals zero. As for the methods, it's rather simple. Our goal is to increase score number when method is being called. To do that, I take existing value of player1 score and add one to it. Player1 score equals, remember that equals is an assignment operator. Now I type player1 score and add one to it. So as a result, you should get player1 score equals player1 score plus one. Let's do the same for update player2 score method. Only this time use player2 score. Now the assignment is completed. However, as a little extra, let's check how our methods work. First of all, at the end of each method, let's add print command to output player score value after increase operation. Print player1 score is plus player1 score and print player2 score is plus player2 score. In double quotes, we pass a string of text to print command. And with plus sign, we simply add value stored inside player score variable to the whole string. The only thing we have to do is to call our new methods. If you take a look at the way we called setBall method, you will already know how to call our two new methods. To see changes in real time, let's add these two calls in the update method. Inside update between curly braces add update player one score parenthesis semicolon update player two score parenthesis semicolon. Now run the game and you will see how our score values are rising every frame. Please make sure you remove calls to both update player score methods inside update before proceeding. We don't want all this spam in the console. On top of that, showing all these messages every frame is actually very expensive and editor will slow down. Let's talk a bit about the game logic when Bo hits the gate. With any of the gates selected, you can see that its collider is set to be a trigger. That means if Bo is about to hit the gate, it won't bounce, but will go through. And this is an important thing to remember, because in script, collider and trigger work with different methods. Here our ball is traveling through game field. There are some game objects with colliders and triggers. On this image, colliders are solid black and triggers are orange. If ball goes through trigger, on trigger enter method will be activated. When ball hits collider, on collision enter method will become active. These two methods are very different. On trigger enter will only tell you about the collider of the object our ball touched, while on collision enter will tell you about the collision event, with information about at which exact point collision occurred, at what speed, and so on. In our case, we only want to know about the gates ball goes through. And for that, we are going to use on trigger enter method. It is provided by Unity and looks like this. Void on trigger enter in parentheses type collider. That will be the object our bow is touching with. Let's give name to this object. For example, triggered with. Open at close curly braces. To check if our code is working and to find out name of the object our bow went through, add a print statement. Print triggered with. Run the game and wait till bow goes through any of the gates. As you can see, our code is working and we have received name of the gate game object. 